The celebration of all things Polynesian, Polyfest, became a festival of politicians today. It was an opportunity for organisers to bid for more funding, but there was one major absence, the Prime Minister. Here's Grace Thomas. Politicians converging on Polyfest. It's a chance for them to rub shoulders with the Polynesian population in Aotearoa, now more than 380,000. But there was no sign of Christopher Luxon, breaking what's become a tradition for Prime Ministers to visit. The PM telling media yesterday there was a scheduling conflict. I had a fantastic engagement at Pacifica just a couple of weekends ago, which was excellent. Um, and um, yeah, if I can get there, I'll try and get there. But the reality is I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm doing other things in the next two days. It's certainly a priority for me. I was here last year. It was my first as Prime Minister. If he gets the opportunity to, att to attend a Polyfest in the future, he should do it. Um, it's an amazing event. And it is um, a great opportunity to, to see our future. <laughs> An amazing event which doesn't come cheap. Polyfest's director says this was the hardest year yet to raise funds. It's millions of dollars to actually run this festival and um, you know we, we don't want to be trying to get money from the community that it actually serves. We need to get that from the, the ministries, from the government who can just see the value of this festival. But there were encouraging words from the Minister of Pacific Peoples. Shane Nariti promised more government support of the event over the next few years. We can have nice words, we can have pati pati, we can say all sorts of nice sound bites but actually when you put your hand in your pocket and support a festival and support an event, that's really walking the walk. The Prime Minister may not have been there, but his deputy was. I'm here at the Polyfest. I'm not going to have this marvellous occasion ruined by your impertinence. It was a short visit. Mr Peters left immediately after the VIP function. But for everyone else, the Polyfest action continues tomorrow, the last day. Grace Thomas, News Hub.